Concerts in the Park, this is our 27th year. Uh, it's an amazing series. It's one of the most popular Concerts in the Park series in Southern California, and I know that because the bands tell me that all the time, but um, we're really looking forward to it. we got a really neat lineup. Uh, we have some favorites coming back, but also some brand new acts that have never done Concerts in the Park, although I think people will be familiar with the names once we start going over that. It started back in 1990. Uh, City Council wanted to start a, a music series in the summer that was a uh, a lifestyle event and, and great for the family, presenting good music in a nice atmosphere. And in, in the original days, it used to rotate all around Santa Clarita to different parks over the course of the summer. And then starting about uh, maybe 10 or 11 years ago, we made Central Park our home. Uh, so we just build a big stage, leave it there all summer, and uh, then create this wonderful night for families to come and people bring their food or they buy from vendors on site. Uh, and they are able to enjoy this great music all summer long. Central Park is the perfect setting. I mean, you're surrounded by these beautiful hills. And even on hot days like today, uh, by 7 o'clock when the concert starts, the sun's down, everything cools off. Uh, and it's a very safe environment. Families feel great about being able to come here with their kids uh, and or their, their entire family. Uh, and also, we always like to think that we keep the quality of music at a very high level. Well, transit's always been involved in one way, shape, or form, but we just like to remind everyone we do recognize how popular concerts in the park has become, and as such, parking can get a little bit crowded. So we do offer a general public dial ride service that starts at 6 p.m., runs till 10.30 p.m. So we just like to remind anyone interested in not having to deal with parking, we can pick you up at your home and drop you off at the park and then take you home after the show. Um, it's $2 each way. You do have to pre-register. You can do that by calling 661-294-9327 and make your reservations in advance. Uh, opening weekend is July 9th, and we're going to be bringing in a group called Vod and the Villains. It's their first time, but people who have been to our uh, monthly census event in New Hall will remember them. There's no band that I can think of like them. It's uh, New Orleans jazz uh, almost living theater kind of act. It's just an amazing act. 19 piece band going to be on that stage. I encourage people to come because it's really a unique experience as far as concerts in the park go.